All right, so in this video, we are going to be looking at an introduction to right triangle trigonometry. Now, the reason why right triangle trig works is because when you have similar triangles and you're referencing the same angle on both, they have the, the same ratio for the side measures. So like uh, we have these two similar triangles here and we're looking at the blue angle. Um, we have a 9, 12, and 15 for the sides on that one, a 6, 8, and 10 for the side lengths on the other one. So now if we're taking the ratio of sides like 9 to 12 and 6 to eight they have the same ratio it's a 0.75 the 12 to 15 and the 8 to 10 that's again same this both 0.8 so it works on no matter what size triangle you have in a relationship as long as this angle is the same all right, so to be successful with right triangle trigonometry, you have to be good at three skills. Number one, identify the sides of the right triangle. Number two, identify which trig ratio goes with that, with those sides. And then three, you gotta be able to write and solve an equation. So we're gonna do two and a half of these. We're gonna get to uh, writing the equations. We'll do solving in a later video. All right, sides of a right triangle, here we go. So if we're looking at this angle right here, we wanna identify first the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse, that's the longest side, it's opposite the right angle. So if you look at the right angle and you draw a line straight through it, it points to the hypotenuse. So if you can't tell which one's bigger, you can always do that. So there's your hypotenuse. And now next, let's look at the opposite side. So the opposite side, the opposite leg, is gonna be across from the angle. So again, draw a line through the angle and it points to the opposite side. This is a side that's not touching the angle. So there's the opposite side. And now the adjacent leg. So the adjacent leg is touching the angle, but it's not the hypotenuse. So the leg that's touching the angle, right there. There's your adjacent leg. All right, now check it out. We're gonna switch this up a little bit. We're gonna go from this angle there to the angle up here. And we're gonna do the same three questions. The hypotenuse doesn't change. It's still opposite the 90 degree angle, stays the same. Next up, finding the opposite leg. Now that's across from the angle, draw our line. It's the side that's not touching the angle. There's your opposite, it moved. Next up, the adjacent. Now this is the, the leg that's touching the angle. It's gonna be that one right there is adjacent. So with your right triangles, you do have to pay attention to which angle you're dealing with because the opposite and adjacent change depending on what angle you're on. Hypotenuse stays the same. So there's the three depending on this angle right there. All right, let's uh, try it again with this uh, triangle here. So the, the hypotenuse, opposite the 90 degree angle, longest side right there, it's letter C, side C. Now let's look for the opposite leg from vertex or angle D. So there's angle D, it's at the top, the opposite leg is gonna be on the bottom, side A. Now let's look for the adjacent side. So the adjacent leg, again, touching the angle, but it's not the hypotenuse. So there it is, right there, letter B, side B. Now we're gonna switch the angles up and we're gonna look at angle F down here. We're looking for the opposite leg. So F is on the right-hand side and then the opposite leg is gonna be letter B, side B. And now we're looking at the adjacent to F. So again, it's the side that's touching F, but it's not the hypotenuse. So that's gonna be A. Adjacent means next to. So there we go. All right, so we've identified sides in a right triangle. Next up, we're gonna identify the trig ratio or function that goes with the sides. So we do, if you're taking notes, if you got a formulas note page, now's the time to get that out. So the first of the trig functions we'll look at is sine. That's gonna be opposite over hypotenuse. Here's the abbreviation here. And the way you say this is sine A equals opposite over hypotenuse. Now we have our mnemonic over here, SOKOTOA. SOKOTOA, sine opposite over hypotenuse. The C stands for cosine. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. The A over H there. Uh, cosine the angle adjacent over hypotenuse. You may have seen these on your calculators. We are gonna be using those buttons in this video. And the last one that we're gonna deal with today is tangent. Tangent of the angle is the opposite over adjacent. So again, pause the video if you need to get these in your formulas page. You may also see it written like this in some of the standardized tests. They'll show it this way if they're claiming to give you formulas. So I just wanna throw that up there so you'd see it. All right, here we go. So what two sides are being involved? 
So this is again, skill number two. What two sides are being involved? Well, B is the, the leg that is touching the angle, so it's gonna be the adjacent. And then C, that is the hypotenuse, the longest side, the side not touching the 90 degree. So we got adjacent and hypotenuse. Next question for skill number two, what trig ratio would be useful? Well, in this case here, we got the adjacent, we got the hypotenuse, so we got the A and the H. The A and the H goes with letter C for cosine. Cosine of the angle is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. All right, let's switch these around a little bit. Which trig function? Uh, we'll get to after we identify what two sides are involved. So there's our angle there, and across from the angle is the opposite leg. And then C is still the hypotenuse. So we got the O, we got the H, we got the O and the H goes with the S, stands for sine. Sine of the angle opposite over hypotenuse. Switch these up again. Now we switched angles, so we still have the same two sides, but the angles switched. So now what two sides are being involved? Well, A is the leg that's touching the angle, so that is going to be the adjacent leg. C is still the hypotenuse. So now we got adjacent, hypotenuse, the A and the H, that goes with the C, so that's going to be cosine. Switching these sides up. Here we go. So now we have our angle over here and the side across from it or opposite it is the side B, the leg B. So the angle's on the top. This side B is on the bottom. They are opposites. And A is still the adjacent. So now we have the trig function or ratio that has the O and the A. So that's right there for TOA. So T stands for tangent. So tangent of the angle is opposite over adjacent. Let's switch these up again. We'll start picking up the pace right so b is the opposite c is the hypotenuse so we're dealing with the opposite hypotenuse opposite and hypotenuse go with the sine function switch it up again the angle moved here we go so here's our angle here so, uh, side a is the opposite leg and b is the adjacent it's touching and it's not the hypotenuse so we got the opposite adjacent the o and the a go with the t stands for tangent all right, new picture, same two questions. What two sides are being involved? So here's our angle here, across from the angle, that's gonna be the opposite leg. A is opposite, and then C is the longest side on the triangle, it's opposite the 90 degree angle, so it's the hypotenuse. So now we have the opposite and we have the hypotenuse, so which trig function goes with opposite and hypotenuse? That's the O and the H goes with the sine function, sine of the angle opposite over hypotenuse. Let's switch these up. Now we have the angle up on top, and this leg is all the way at the bottom. It's on the opposite side of the triangle, and then C is still the hypotenuse. We got the O and the H, still the sine function, same as the last one. Switching it up. Now we switch some sides. So there's our angle. This leg here is touching the angle, so it's the adjacent leg. C is the hypotenuse. So now our trig function, the A and the H. A and H goes with cosine. Cosine of the angle is adjacent over hypotenuse. Switch these up again. B is the leg that is touching the angle, so it's the adjacent. C is hypotenuse, so we have cosine. From this angle, A is the opposite and B is the adjacent, so opposite over adjacent. The O and the A go with a T, stands for tangent. And we're gonna switch the angle here, and in this case here, B is the opposite, and A is adjacent, so opposite and adjacent, co uh, tangent again. All right, there we go. So now we've identified the sides and we've learned to identify which trig ratio goes with those sides. Now we're gonna get to writing equations. So here we go. All right, so here's the triangle we're gonna be working with. First up, we're gonna find sine of the angle. Now we can use our little mnemonic device here, so Katoa, so again, S is sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine adjacent over hypotenuse, tangent opposite over adjacent. So for sine, that's gonna be opposite over hypotenuse. So we're looking at angle A, it says so right there. So angle A, now we wanna find the opposite leg. So A is on the right, the opposite leg is gonna be on the left. So five is gonna be the value for the opposite leg. Now the hypotenuse, that's the longest leg, pretty easy to see here. It's also not touching the right angle. So our opposite is five, our hypotenuse is 13. So we, when we write this ratio as a fraction, that's gonna be five for the opposite over 13 for the hypotenuse. Now let's look at cosine. So cosine, 
cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, adjacent over hypotenuse. So this is still angle A. So there's angle A. The leg touching the angle is your adjacent. So that's the 12. And then 13 is the hypotenuse. So adjacent is 12. 13 is the hypotenuse. So we're going to do 12 over 13 for the hypotenuse. Now tangent of angle A. So tangent, that's TOA, tangent opposite over adjacent. So we need to identify the opposite and adjacent side, which we've already done. So the opposite was a five and the adjacent was a 12. So now for tangent, we're doing opposite over adjacent. So we're gonna do a five over 12 for the adjacent. Now let's find sine of angle B. So these letters after the, the sine, cosine, tangent do mean something. So in this case, we're looking at angle or vertex B here. So sine again, opposite over hypotenuse. So B is on the bottom. The opposite leg is gonna be on the top. So 12 is opposite of angle B. And now we need to identify the hypotenuse, still 13. So now we're gonna do for opposite over hypotenuse, we're gonna do 12 for the opposite and 13 for the hypotenuse. So sine of angle B, 12 over 13. Now let's look at cosine angle B. Cosine, C-A-H, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So adjacent to angle B, so the leg touching angle B is five and the hypotenuse tw uh, 13. So now we're gonna do a five for the adjacent over 13 for the hypotenuse. Last up, tangent of angle B. So we're still identifying opposite over adjacent. So angle B, the opposite was 12, the adjacent was five. So we're gonna do a 12 over five for the adjacent. New picture, here we go. Same questions, sine of angle A. So remember, we can use Sokotoa. Sine is gonna be opposite over hypotenuse. So that's what we gotta identify here. So we gotta look for angle A, found it right there opposite so we're going to draw a line through angle a and it's going to point to the the leg marked with a four and then the hypotenuse there's our right angle the hypotenuse longest leg pretty easy to see here and it's not touching the right angle so hypotenuse is five so now we're going to do four for the opposite over five for the hypotenuse four over five now let's look at sine of angle B. So now we're gonna bounce over here to angle B and we're still doing opposite over hypotenuse. That didn't change. Now check it out, B and then the opposite leg all the way over here at the side marked three. And then the hypotenuse was still five. So we're doing a three over five for sine of angle B. Now let's look at cosine of A. So angle A right here. And remember with cosine, we're doing adjacent over hypotenuse, cosine A, H, C, A, H, adjacent over hypotenuse. So the adjacent is the leg touching the angle. So that's gonna be the three. Hypotenuse is five. So for cosine, adjacent three over five. Now let's look at cosine angle B. So over here, angle B, we're still doing adjacent over hypotenuse. So the adjacent for angle B, that's gonna be four, and then the hypotenuse, five. So for cosine angle B, it'd be four over five for adjacent over hypotenuse. And you can look at these numbers and see if you find a pattern. Now let's look at tangent of angle A. So angle A, over here, we bounce back over here, opposite, over adjacent is what we're gonna work on. So the opposite is gonna be the four and three for the adjacent. So that's gonna be a four over three for tangent of angle A. Now let's look at tangent angle B. Here we go, B's over here. All the way on the other side is gonna be the opposite side, three, and then four for the adjacent for angle B. So we're doing opposite over adjacent. So that's gonna be a three over four. All right, time to get out your calculators. If you need to pause the video, go for it. Um, after you get your calculator out, let's do sine of 53 degrees. Go ahead and pause the video for a second while you get your stuff out, sine of 53 degrees. All right, now that you're back, should have seen 0.7986. So you gotta check your calculator and make sure you're not in radians. This needs to be in degree mode. So if you see on your calculator, it says you get not 0.7986, you're probably in radians. Starts with an R. Um, it's abbreviated on a lot of the calculators, RAD. So if you're in RAD or radians mode, switch that over to degrees and you should get it right. Let's go ahead and check another couple ones just to make sure you can find all the buttons that you're gonna need. Cosine 53 degrees. Go ahead and plug that in, pause the video. It's gonna be about 0.6018. 
And last up, we're going to try tangent 53 degrees. Go ahead and plug it in. 1.3270. Make sure you can get these in your calculator. You'll need them for the next step. All right. So we almost got through uh, the solving. We, we, we got the, the writing the equations or proportions out. So again, real quick recap here. We, uh, the steps that we need is identify the sides being involved. Opposite leg doesn't touch your angle. It's on the opposite side. Adjacent is the leg touching the angle and the hypotenuse is your longest side. Uh, next up, you got to be able to identify the trig ratio being involved. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine adjacent over hypotenuse, tangent opposite over adjacent. And then the last thing we did is we were writing out those ratios. Sine of A equals 4 over 5 or whatever it may have been. All right, so I hope this helps out. I hope you have a great start to your day, rest of your day, rest of your evening, or whatever time you might be watching.